Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Um, today I'm just vlogging my day. Um, it could turn into a weekend in my life or if I get enough footage for today, it'll be its own vlog. I honestly haven't vlogged in a really long time because I think it was last weekend or like the weekend before that, I broke my camera. Um, I don't like to talk about it because Every time like I damage something, I just like want to forget that it ever happened. Um, I mean, I know it like obviously I had to buy a new camera and like, you know, that sucked. Like, trust me, it really, really sucked. But I don't want to just like think about it and like harp on it because you can't really change what's happened, I guess. You could just be more cautious in the future. I live in Austin, Texas, so I was on South Congress, which is like a street full of like stores and restaurants and all of that. Um, and I went to this place called, I wanna say it's called Aviation or something like that. It was a clothing brand store. And they have a rooftop where you can overlook South Congress. And so we went up there and I was setting up my camera because I brought my mini tripod and my like little phone stand. Um, I was setting that up so me and Ryan could take a photo, like a self-timer photo. Um, and I basically had a really small purse that day and I like stuck my um, vlogging camera in it. So my purse wasn't zipped all the way and my camera pretty much like fell over and made my bag like topple over. And this rooftop has like holes in this deck like on the sides of it and my camera literally toppled over and fell through the freaking hole and literally just caused a whole scene. Um, not a big one, but there were people that like stopped and like were like, what the hell just fell from the sky. <laughs> and I'm honestly so thankful. I didn't even think about this in the moment, but like after the fact, I was like, holy crap, like it could have fallen on someone's head and that would have been a hundred times worse. So thank God that did not happen. Um, but yeah, update. I'm like really bad at just like keeping my technology alive for some reason. And I need to get better about that because it's costing me a frick ton of money and it's not okay because I literally can't save my money because shit just keeps happening. And honestly, yeah, it's probably my fault. So <laughs> I just need to be better. But anyways, so that's a little update. So work is going good. I feel like it's not overwhelming, but the only thing is that I am trying to like adapt to these new hours that I'm working solely for this company. So I have to do all my other work like after or like on the weekends and so I don't have like all the time in the world to like do YouTube videos and edit them and then I also have my freelance gigs on top of that and so first comes work and then those freelance gigs and then my YouTube channel and then I have to have time to breathe so I hope you guys understand I'm really trying to like fix my schedule and just like make sure I have time here and there to like f like put forth my effort on YouTube because I want to make it happen trust me i like love youtube i love making videos i love vlogging so it's gonna happen it's just gonna take me a little bit of time to just like feel it out and like you know stay balanced while i do it it is 10 a.m and i actually have to go pick up a check from the event planning company. I'm so excited to be shooting a couple of events for South by Southwest. I literally manifested this shit. Like I wrote it down. I want to do this so bad. Um, because I haven't ever been to South by Southwest and I thought, first of all, that would be like a little in, which I didn't have to pay for. Second of all, like I would be literally photographing things at South by Southwest. That would be so cool and so good for like my portfolio. So yeah, I'm doing it <laughs> and I'm so excited. South by Southwest is coming up so soon and I'm so excited because I actually got invited to like a couple of blogger events too. And I don't know, that's really exciting because they're really cool ones. Um, today I have to clean up this pig sty of a mess. After I get this check, I kind of want to go to Twin Liquors and check it out because they have a dollar sale and apparently they just mark down the alcohol as low as they can go and then add a dollar to it. So I'm just like curious to see how cheap the alcohol actually is and we really need to like restock on our alcohol because I don't know, I think we have like this much of like rum left and like a Tito's handle, but honestly like I could probably go for another Tito's handle because does alcohol expire? I feel like it doesn't. This might be a dumb question, but I feel like it doesn't. So I feel like it would be smart to restock on staples, um, especially while they're cheap. So I kind of want to go check it out, but I might wait for Ryan to get off work and then go with him. So I don't know. We'll see. Just got the goods. <laughs> Yeah. 
I just got out of Twin Liquors and I got three bottles of alcohol and then one like pina colada mixer because I've just like been craving going to the beach and drinking a freaking pina colada so I'm like I can't go to the beach right now because I literally don't have one free weekend open but I can drink a pina colada so that's what I'm gonna do tonight and I bought these pineapples from AGB and they're literally going bad by the second so hopefully I can like make a pina colada and use them for something I will show you guys exactly what I got when I get home um, I'm gonna clean out my car next I was literally just telling Ryan like it's so nice to have this Friday like I feel like I never really appreciated Fridays because I didn't have like a job which yes it is part-time but I still like do other stuff after I get done working for my new job if that makes sense <laughs> but anyways basically I just feel like I appreciate this Friday so much more because I have so many errands that I can do I'm gonna clean out my car next I'm gonna like park right next to my dumpster at my apartment and literally just clean out my car because I don't know if you can tell but like my seat in the back is down because Ryan used my car to like transport my bike to get fixed and like to ride and stuff so I haven't put it back up since that and it's been so long since it's just been like a mess back there so today is the day I'm gonna clean clean out my freaking car and it's just gonna be like a good feeling because it's honestly been on my to-do list for a really long time. So just got to the dumpster so it is time to take care of this freaking mess. I can't believe it got this bad honestly. This is my Georgia's license plate. Getting rid of that. All right, so now it is time to show you guys what I got. So first one, this is Flor de Caña, um, and this is just rum. He said it was like a dry rum. I don't really understand what that means, but basically he said it's not like a sweet rum, and I was like about to just get Malibu because that's literally all I know. And I asked him, I was like, um, like what rum goes in a pina colada? And he was just like, well, you don't really need the Malibu rum because it will already have like a coconutty taste like in the mixer. Um, so I didn't get the Malibu, <laughs> but actually that was cheaper than the Malibu, so it ended up working out. But then I got some pina colada mix. Um, next I got some tequila. I used to be like a big tequila drinker because, well not like I didn't drink it every day, but like when I went out in college, I would just take like a few tequila shots and it would get me like at my perfect drunk state. And I never really like stuck with one brand. Um, I would just kind of get like whatever is kind of cheap and like whatever they recommend. So this guy recommended this. It is the Tequila El Mayor. Um, and he basically kind of described it to be like smooth and like something about like a vanilla taste. So I was like, hmm, that sounds cool. So I'm going to try that one. And then <laughs> I got vodka and this is my last thing, but I actually wanted to try out the Deep Eddies vodka and I already do have like a handle of Tito's and it's pretty full, but I just thought I would like stock up because you can never like have enough. Like I said, alcohol doesn't go bad, I think. <laughs> so this will last me for a very long time. And like if I want to um, have people over, then I won't be like super stingy about my alcohol because I'll have more of it to share. Um, but I wanted to try Deep Eddies because I've already tried Tito's. Both of these alcohols are actually made here in Austin, Texas. So I thought that was really cool. Um, and this one was a little bit cheaper than Tito's, which the Tito's wasn't even on sale. Like that was like, I swear, the only freaking bottle in that whole store that was not on sale. And I was just like, why? I bet they know that they can like easily sell those any day. So they probably didn't mark them down. But yeah, so I'm going to try this Deep Eddies vodka. I'm probably not even going to open it until I like finish that Tito's. But that will be up next and yeah i'm really excited i have like pineapples i think i told you guys this but i have pineapples that i bought at heb and they're literally going bad so hopefully i can make use of them um tonight when i make a pina colada my next task is to clean this whole house and start a load of laundry i think i'm gonna like do towels and just kind of slowly start to do laundry because um we are running out of towels so I'm gonna spare y'all and not show a cleaning montage just because I literally just need to focus on cleaning this house and I don't really wanna worry about vlogging it. So I'm gonna clean the house. Let's do this. No judging here, but this is what it looks like right now. Shoes everywhere. I mean, it's pretty much like my mess. Pretty. Oh, hi, Sophie. Pretty bad. <laughs> and then obviously I need to make my bed. 
And yeah, it's just a freaking mess. And I don't even want to show you the guest room because that's like my beauty room and like where I get dressed, what well, you can see a little bit. But all right, I'm gonna go get to work. So I was not expecting Ryan to come home for lunch because usually on Fridays he eats out with his coworkers or I don't know, today he got a haircut, but I didn't expect you to actually come home. How did you get the haircut that fast that you had time to come What's home? Wrong? I have tea, sis. Ooh, BRB. It's currently 1 p.m. and I had a bowl of cereal for lunch because we haven't gone grocery shopping, so we don't really have like that much to eat. But I also just popped myself some popcorn because the cereal like wasn't satisfying enough. So I'm gonna eat that while I do um, some content creation for my own Instagram. I'm gonna be taking pictures in all my shop moody jewelry. I just got done shooting content and I'm just vlogging on my iPhone because I really don't feel like getting up off the couch. But now I'm going to respond to some emails about collaborations and then also I like reached out to two people on Instagram um, about collaborations. So I need to email them my media kit uh, and I also have like a lot of photos to edit. I also need to finish up my first wedding gallery um, and another uh, freelance gig. So got a lot of work to do. Got to edit my own pics. Um, I think Ryan's going to come home early. Not sure yet, but I do want to go to this one happy hour, this like restaurant. Um, by the way, these earrings are from Shop Moody. They're, like cute little star dangling earrings. Super cute. So it is 5 p.m. and I actually spent so much time just um, emailing brands back and I reached out to this one brand so I had to do like this whole proposal thing and then my word literally froze on me so it didn't save. I saved it and like then it said it was like zero bytes and I was like what the heck so I went back and it was like frozen. I was like great so I had to do that all over again um, and I did it in docs this time like Google Docs. So it could like auto save and I wouldn't lose it. I usually don't even trust Word. I don't know why I pulled Word up, but it's because I had to like export it. But I remembered that you could actually export Word doc from Google Docs. Anyways, Ryan just got home and he actually went to the twin liquor sale um, right after work. Babe, you literally have a twin liquors tag right on your back. <laughs> Turn. You're $39.34. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even think I vlogged and said where we were going before we went to dinner, but we were gonna go to this other place and then I found out the happy hour ended. So we went to Anthem on Rainy Street. We just had happy hour bites and margaritas, so that was really good. And now we are gonna just chill, maybe drink some more. I kinda want a pina colada, so I might make that. We'll see. Good morning, y'all. It is Saturday. We ended up not going out last night, so like after I filmed that clip, I literally just crashed on the couch. But today, I'm going to a morning toast meetup at Central Market, so it should be really fun. I'm excited to like meet more girls. And then after that, I'm filming something for Katie, Texas. I'm actually doing their recruitment video, if I didn't mention that before, um, and I'm really excited about it. Um, so I have all my camera equipment, and then um, in case like this podcast meetup like doesn't run all the way till one. I have my computer and stuff so I can stop somewhere to work for like 30 minutes or something. Today it's supposed to get up to 75 degrees so I'm super hyped. <laughs> I have this sweatshirt on because it's like 66 and it's like really nice out right now but I feel like I would definitely be like a little chilly in my uh, short sleeve shirt. I haven't eaten anything yet so I'm hoping that other girls are eating like at the podcast meetup because um, I think they have like they probably do have like pastries and stuff like that that I can just grab and go. Hi. <laughs> podcast meetup went well i think that there was 30 people that said they were gonna go and literally only four people including me showed up but it ended up being really nice um and i got to meet new people which is always great um and then i went to go film at capa delta and it was pretty quick um i just had to get a few clips just to you know, show the range of like what they do in their recruitment video. But now I got a very exciting package, um, basically for my new job. If you guys didn't know, I just started my new job as a content creator for a student housing company. Um, and basically I'm gonna be doing their social media 
corporate social media and also doing photography and videography for their sites. So um, I am going to be using majority of my equipment, um, but I did ask for one thing because I think this would be very helpful when I'm uh, creating content for other sites and that is the Mavic 2 Pro. So my dad actually gave me his drone and it was the Phantom 4, but it is like a little bit harder. Well, I would say like a lot harder to fly. Honestly, I really don't know because I've never flown a drone on my own. Um, but I just thought that this would be perfect because the Phantom 4 is kind of massive. It's a very chunky drone and it needs like it, its own backpack. This one is apparently super easy to fly um, and super tiny. This is so exciting. So this is what it looks like. And this is like my hand just for a size comparison. So it's supposed to be like super tiny to fit kind of in your hand. My main priority this week is to try to learn how to fly this thing. And I'm honestly very nervous because first of all, it's not my drone. Like obviously the company owns it. I really just don't want to break it. I don't want to be liable for any damages that happen to it. But apparently like it has like a ton of sensors all over it. So it's really hard to actually like bump into things because it'll like stop itself. Um, and then this is the little remote. It literally reminds me of a GameCube or something. So funny. But these like pop out and you actually put your phone right here. See, so there's a screen and you can like see where it's flying and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, look at this, look at this. Look, doesn't it look like it? Last night I was not feeling too good. Like I went to sleep with a really, really dry throat and I woke up literally every hour and drank so much water. Um, and like I took a Claritin this morning, which definitely made me feel a little bit better, but it's not all the way better. And it just makes me sad that I'm not feeling the best, especially with this weather being so nice. So I'm trying to pull it together and get out of my house um, because I know the weather is not like this all the time. So I definitely want to take advantage, but I could definitely go for like a nap or something right now. I watched a few videos on it already just to know like what I need to do setting up and stuff, but overall, I still don't really know how to fly it. We are out here. We're gonna fly this drone. Please send prayers. I'm really nervous. <laughs> we're doing it on Ryan's phone because my phone is low on battery, but we're about to fly it. It seemed a lot easier than I thought it would be, so hopefully, fingers crossed, everything's good to go. Calibrate compass. Compass. <laughs> compass. <laughs> Now flip it on the side and do it again. So it was hella windy in this clip, so I'm gonna spare you guys the wind noise. But basically I said that we live seven minutes away from the airport and actually on the map, um, you can get this app where it tells you where you can and can't fly drones. And unfortunately we live in an area that you can't fly drones. So we went to Vic Mathias Park and we are gonna fly the drone here. All right, try about us. This is the prettiest place to fly a drone. Oh, what the heck? I'm gonna fly the drone. Last time <laughs> I like gave it to Ryan. Oh no, last time I landed it because I was so freaking scared. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Why is it, why is it saying So cool. It's high, it's really high. It's really high. Yeah, oh yeah. my god. I'm gonna record. <gasps> it is so pretty. It is so pretty. <sighs> my back is all tense and shit. What's low battery? This remote. Aircraft is returning home, minimum. See it. It's coming. It's coming! Wait, this is so cool. Where is it? Amazing. We dropped Sophie off at home and now we are gonna go eat some bao at this place called Bowed Up and I just saw this on my Yelp and I actually like saved it on my Yelp a while ago. Um, so we are gonna get some bao and I just saw that BJ's was right across the street and that just makes me think of college. Those late night pizookis and I really want a pizookie but 
Yeah, my friends and I would go get freaking pizookis and they were so good. If you guys don't know what a pizuki is, it is a cookie in a skillet. So it's like a giant cookie with ice cream on top and it's warm and gooey. And, oh, are you craving one yet? Good morning y'all, it is Sunday and it's almost 10 a.m. I am going to brunch with some of my friends at 11.30 and we're going to Hank's. And I've been to Hank's coffee shop and it's so cute, but the restaurant itself is so beautiful. So I really wanna dress cute and take some pictures, hopefully. I do have some time to spare and I've literally gone like more than a week without posting on my YouTube channel. And it's not like I don't have videos to put out, but I've been kind of procrastinating um, putting out my work week in my life because I wanted to create an intro that would be like consistent throughout like that series I guess and obviously I want to put in my effort and time so hopefully I can get that done within like an hour I'm gonna look on Pinterest for inspiration of like if I wanted to do like graphic or just like a little title card or something like that um, and see what we can come up with so I am in the beginning stages of getting sick. This kind of happened on like Friday or to Saturday. And last night it was like really bad. My throat was just so dry. Um, and then Ryan was like, how about you drink some like honey and lemon water? I was like, why didn't I think of that earlier? Cause it is so good. It like is helping so much. So I'm drinking this right now again. Um, and I got my little Keep Austin Weird mug. Um, we literally bought this. I swear, I think it was like our first day coming to Austin there's like a really good uh gift shop downtown on 6th street I think it's called trading company something like that and it we got this mug and I got like a little ornament it was so cute so I'm gonna try to make this time efficient work on that intro and get shit done last night I actually ordered something on Amazon and it was a big like investment into my business and I guess I wanted to tell you guys what it is because I've been hearing a lot about them I don't really understand like exactly what the difference is between a hard drive and this thing which is called an solid state drive um so if you guys know in the comments down below please let me know but basically what i've heard is that like hard drives corrupt like easier than solid state drives i don't know why i don't know how but i bought this like super mini solid state drive it was definitely a good chunk of my money and it sucked paying for it but honestly i got this computer I think in December and this computer has two terabytes on it but I don't want to always store like all the projects like my past projects on this computer I want to move it over to a hard drive if I can so I've been kind of putting off like buying a new hard drive um, so I kind of just bit the bullet and did it last night what really inspired me to buy a solid-state drive is um, I saw someone's like reel if you are a videographer or something like this um, you basically like pull like your best clips from each like project you've done um, and pretty much just like put it all together with like a really cool song. I wouldn't be able to do that if I keep deleting my projects, which I honestly do and it's so bad, especially because I'm trying to get more professional and that is not what professionals do. They definitely have like backups of their projects and keep them forever and ever just in case something happens. So I need to start doing that. So that is why I got a solid state drive so I could you know at the end of the year i could like pull from like projects and it'd be so easy so yeah i'm really excited about that um not excited about the price but i know it's gonna pay off because i will show you my stack of hard drives that have corrupted they are so stupid and annoying and like holy crap like i've spent too much money on like all those hard drives and they're like all corrupted and like i've definitely tried to send back hard drives like maybe three or three or four times one time like they didn't even fix it they just sent it back and like I think they like said it was fixed but it was not fixed so yeah I'm over it <laughs> so hopefully the solid state drive will like save my life and I think it will be a good thing for my business so yeah just wanted to share that really quick I'm getting ready to go to brunch and this is my outfit I have these shoes I got from Plato's Closet or Style Encore. This dress is a short sleeve dress and it's from Princess Polly. This cardigan is from Layden. And then this hat is from Pink Lily Boutique. And it's super cute. It doesn't really have any embellishments, but I kind of like it plain. But Ryan said I needed like something on it, but whatever. This will do for today and we're going to Hank's. <laughs> 